Welcome back everybody to Fishtails Let's Play of Until Dawn. We are on episode 4 and we are yes. going to be continuing where Ready we left off last time. Uh, which is looking for Jess as Mike. Um, we had a spooky scene with a Ouija board. And yeah. Jessica. Now we're here. Looks like Mike's not getting laid today. Jess! Buddy, you in there? <laughs> ah! Whoa! Christ! <sighs> Scared the blue out of my jeans. <laughs> the hell is that doing in there anyway? Looks fucking creepy looking. Seriously? This is not funny. I totally promise I won't murder you when I- <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, oh my- god! No. <laughs> that was so good! Not, no! <laughs> wait, 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 you have to see those. You have to I'm not to seeing that. No, 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 no. <laughs> You recorded that? <laughs> I was scared, oh Jed. You can't just jump out at somebody. I'm in the middle of the woods. It's scary. I'm sorry to I'm, scare you. If we send that to anybody, I'm oh, what? gonna kill you. I didn't know you had such a cute little lady like scream, Michael. <laughs> Guess you never really know someone until you scared the pants off of them. As far as I can tell, my pants are still on. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Looks like you have to try harder. A challenge, eh? Well, I hope you're strapped in, because you're about to feel the full force of my mind-melting thrill skills. He's behind me! Alright. Give me that premi bitch! Alright, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what I just saw. Wow. Kinda like a real winter wonderland out here. Hey girl, you know I'll help you up. Mm-hmm. This is actually kinda pretty if it wasn't so blurry in the background over there. Oh shit. Oh god. This can't be it. Oh my god! 
yes. Do not be laughing at me right now. Revenge is mine. Oh, no. Yeah. That is not fair. Turnabout is fair play, my good lady. I just scared you. I didn't soak you. Hey, I will do everything in my power to win you up. You better get cooking. Do not underestimate my culinary jobs. Oh, god damn it. Why did that get me? What is that? I'm not sure I want to know. Shine. Why? Yeah, fuck it. We'll just walk to it. Damn. It's horrible. I don't think he's gonna make it. Hey, bud. Oh hey, buddy. God, the poor thing. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mike, it's in so much pain. It'll be over soon. Okay, buddy. It'll be over soon. Bears don't know how to open cabin doors. I've seen them open car doors. What? Where? On the internet. Really? Okay. Well, this isn't the internet, Jess. Right? This is real life. And I promise you that no bear or anything else is gonna open that cabin door. I guess you're right. I hope the wind just pushes it open. Okay. I'm almost feeling relaxed again. Almost. Huh. Typical. Brr. This is not the cozy chalet I was promised, Mike. Yeah, it's a bit drafty or something, right? Well, there is a fireplace. Well, we don't need a fire to heat things up. Michael, I am a lady, and a lady needs a proper romantic setting. Okay. A lady would like to cuddle up with her man by a nice cozy fire bathed in atmospheric mood lighting. Right. It'll get plenty toasty once we're rubbing up against each other. My yeah. fire and mood lighting. Yes, my lady.
Ah, this will take care of the mood lighting. Shit. Fuck, Mike. What? Oh, crap. What? Where is it? What? What's wrong? Gone. It is gone, okay? Just slow down. What is gone? My freaking phone, Sherlock. You can't find it? Crap, no. I must have dropped it outside. Oh. Yeah. I can't lose my phone. My parents will kill me. You can always get a new one. That's like my fourth one this year. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll have you look for it. It's got to be outside. Yeah, I don't think we want to go out there right now with the bear or whatever it is. <sighs> Fine. I just wish you hadn't gotten me completely soaking wet trying to scare me. Kind of a dick move. I'm sorry, Jess. Probably fell out in the water and doesn't even work anymore anyway, so whatever. Hey, I'll make it up to you. I promise. That's what you get for wearing pants that don't have big enough pockets. Looky, looky. Who's gonna fire up some nookie? You've been dying to use that line since we got here, haven't you? Oh, Jess! Look at this! Is it a fire? No, way cooler. understand what we have together. <laughs> Unless you want to make out with an ice sculpture, I suggest you get a fire going. Toronto. Looks like we weren't the only ones to meet the friendly neighborhood terror bears. That does not make me feel any better. That is so difficult to read. They should have put like a text block over that schnit. So we got some matches. Now I need some lumber. Which is more than likely by the fire. But I need to do some You're exploring. How much longer is it gonna take you? Nice. This will lighten up the mood a little. Oh! Ah! Hey! Why are you okay? What are you doing? It's it's the lights. I know it's the lights, dummy. You broke them. But it's probably faulty wiring or something. You've got faulty wiring. A tennis photo. Bronze for it. Oh. She played tennis. She's also dead and communi can't communicate with us. Via Luigi. It's so cold in here right now, my tongue will get stuck to your flagpole. Oh, hell yeah. These guys were inventive. I was actually still looking at that. I don't know what I was looking at. Oh, the Karma Sutra. Do we got any? Whoa. I'm not sure if I'm ready for such advanced levels of game play. Nope, didn't get any clues from that. in there, Mike? Come on. 
Got scared by a shower curtain. But at least we knocked it down for when somebody does try to uh, sneak inside of it. First try. Man one, fire zero. Very nice. Bravo. All right, my lady. What comes next? I think... Well, I, I wish we had some booze. Uh, well, uh, if I'd have known that ahead of time. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of just... I'm not feeling it yet. Am I doing something wrong? No, 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 no. I mean, I thought you were one way, but you're kind of another way. Does, does that make sense? It's, it's not your fault. Uh, Jess, I really like you. Whoever you think I am, well, just give me a chance, and I will show you what you need. Well, I am liking your confidence. Mike, the shutters. What about them? Um, close them, please? <laughs> There's just no one out there. I feel like someone's watching us. I don't like it. Yes, really. It's fine. <laughs> I really don't like it. Okay, shutter it is. Mike's such a whiny bitch. They're shutters. Just close them. Voila. Shutters are shutted. Now, where were we? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think... I'm a little freaked out, and it's hard for me to, like, keep this up, and... What? Keep, keep what? Look, I act all super confident and like a total sexy babe and everything, but underneath, I gotta be honest, I'm really kind of insecure. That must be reassuring. You've got to be kidding me. What? You have nothing to be insecure about. Oh, <laughs> you have no idea. Sure I do. You're just like me and everyone else. We're all insecure. But you know how to handle yourself. You might call it a front, but it's real. Smooth. I guess I do. Yeah, and that's super fucking hot. Really? Yeah, hell yeah it is. Come here. Maybe I know how to handle you too. I am definitely ready to be handled.
It's your phone. What? How is it my phone? I don't know. It just came through the window. Oh, for fuck's sake. God damn it. What? Those goddamn assholes probably followed us out here to fuck with us and just when we were getting down to business. Don't go out there. Hey! Yeah, pricks! That means you! I know you're out there! The fuck are you trying to do? You wanna ruin our fun that bad? Well, guess what? You can't! You can't ruin our good time! Because Michael and I are gonna fuck! That's right! We are going to have sex! And it's gonna be hot! So enjoy it! Because I know we're going to! Uh, no. Do you really think the girls were communicating with us? I don't know. I don't know if I wish they were or if I wish they weren't. I guess we should find out. No, I want to find out what the fuck was happening with that shit. Josh looked really freaked out at the seance. Yeah, I mean, he looked like he was keeping it together, but... Do you think we shouldn't have mentioned his sisters? I mean, it's why we came back up here. Yeah, but not to, like, have a seance. Maybe we went too far. There's gotta be something over here. Keep it closed, maybe I want it open. No. Damn it. Holy crap! Are you okay? I think so. Look. What? There was something behind the books. What is that? Is it a button? Why would there be a button? That's a good question. Should I push it? That's what buttons were for, I guess. All right. Pushing the button. Leave it to the Washingtons to have secret passages in their house? I mean, maybe they didn't even know this place is super old. So, should we take a look? Yeah, after you. No, 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 no. You go. <sighs> Gee, thanks. I will take them and bleed them like pigs and rip their soft white skin off. Fucking 16 years. 16 years I waited for pretty little Hannah and Beth. Holy cow. Are they adopted? Now, Ash, I, I, I don't want to freak you out, but... But look at this. What? Chris, what is that? I... I think this might be what the spirit board wanted us to find. The clue? Yeah, it's a letter. Let me see it. It's a, a threat. Chris, 
This is serious. We need to find Josh right now. Oh, I knew I recognized her voice. That's, uh, one of the, the people from Life is Strange. I'm pretty sure her name was also Ashley there. actually after Hannah and Beth? If so, that would be really messed up. Dear Dr. Swaffham, thank you for your response. It's good to know that the tribe's still feeling attached to the land here, even if we had a few unfortunate problems. Graffiti, people sleeping in the outbuildings. This is their ancestral home after all. I have made contact with the descendants of the tribe and intend to make a donation to their elder council. Healing the wounds of the past won't be easy, but I feel like it's a step that is necessary. Yours sincerely, that guy. Ah, uh, there's something on the back of that bitch. Saw that crazy guy again. Looks like it was written Dang. by Josh's mom. Yeah, she's really making an effort to set things right with some native tribe or something. Yep, that bad karma goes back. This is where things start to get a little bit scary. Where's the front door? No, nope, lock tight. So, um, I've just been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. What? It there was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? I mean, maybe that's whoever was down in the basement before. What? Under the floorboards in the library, the light. Well, there was that guy I told you well, about. Wait, 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 what guy? The guy who threatened the Washingtons. I mean, he, he said he wanted to take revenge by burning the whole place down. And, and then I found that crazy psycho letter. Chris, if this is your way of trying to make me feel better, you're fired. <gasps> you hear that? That was Josh! Coming from the kitchen. <gasps> Josh! Josh! <gasps> coming! Hold on! is he here if he's supposed to be at the cabin? to show you some uh, pictures of people that you have come to know. Like. But maybe you don't like them as much as you pretend to. Well, this is an exercise in honesty. 
Tell me which person from each pair you like the most. Take your time. Your answers are important. Sam all the way. one. We'll go with Ashley, though. Mm. Mike's actually been pretty entertaining. I don't like Emily. Definitely Chris over Jeff Sco. So tell me, in this little game you're playing so diligently, who is it that you most dislike? A bit too bitchy for you. Often the lack of confidence manifests itself as overconfidence. Think about that. Is that not just a little bit like? Oh, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. He's really pushy. Kind of an asshole. Once we finish this whole jazz out, that's gonna be the end of episode Hold on. four. There's one individual we're considering as a person of interest. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. Apparently, he had warned them against pursuing their construction project in Blackwood Pines and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. S. I. S. T. Sister? Ask it whose sister? Josh, it's it's gotta be. Which sister is it then? Ah! Run! Ah! Pause it right there, right as things are getting a little really intense. So, uh, yeah. See you guys next time.